A First Christmas. Long ago in a place called Nazareth, there lived a girl called Mary. She was engaged to be married to a carpenter called Joseph, and she would daydream about their wedding as she went about her chores. One day, as she swept the yard, Mary noticed a stranger smiling at her. She knew at once that he was an angel. My name is Gabriel, he said. I have brought you a message from God. Mary was too amazed to speak. God has chosen you to do something special for him, continued Gabriel. Soon you will have a baby and you are to call him Jesus. He will be God's own son. Mary was happy to do as God had asked, but Joseph felt upset because he knew he wasn't the father of the baby. He prayed to God for help. What should I do, he asked. I love Mary, but I don't know if I should still marry her. God heard his prayers. That night an angel visited Joseph in a dream. Do not worry, he told Joseph. The baby will become a king and save his people. I will trust in God. Joseph decided the next morning. So Mary and Joseph were married and they waited patiently for the baby to arrive. Soon after the wedding, the emperor of Rome, who ruled over the land where Mary and Joseph lived, sent out orders through his messengers. Everyone must travel to their place of birth to be counted, said the messengers. Joseph had been born in Bethlehem a long way away. My wife is going to have a baby soon, said Joseph. Can we go to Bethlehem another time? The messenger shook his head. Everyone must go now, he said. Joseph packed enough food and water for the journey, and Mary made a bundle of blankets and clothes for when the baby arrived. They said their goodbyes to friends and family and set out for Bethlehem. The journey to Bethlehem took many days. The roads were dusty and the sun shone brightly. It was late at night when they finally arrived and Mary was very tired. Let's find a place to stay for the night, said Joseph. But every inn they tried was full. When they arrived at the last inn in town, the owner shook his head. There is no room at the inn, he said. Everyone has come to Bethlehem to obey the emperor's order. What can we do? asked Mary. My baby is coming very soon. Come, said the man kindly. I have a place that might do. The innkeeper led them to a stable behind the house. It was filled with animals and the floor was covered with fresh straw. This is warm and safe, said Mary. Thank you for your kindness. That night, Mary gave birth to a little boy. Joseph lined a feeding trough with straw to make a soft bed. Mary wrapped the baby in a blanket and laid him down gently in the manger. We'll call you Jesus, like the angel said, whispered Mary. Nearby, some shepherds were watching over their sheep on a hillside. Suddenly, there was a dazzling brightness all around them. What's happening, they cried, as an angel appeared. Don't be afraid, said the angel. I have wonderful news. The Son of God has been born in Bethlehem. He is the King that God promised. The light faded and the angel was gone. The shepherds looked at each other in wonder. We must go to Bethlehem and see the baby king, they agreed. The shepherds walked through the quiet streets until they heard a baby's cry and found the stable. We have come to visit the new king, they said. God sent an angel to give us the news. You are all welcome, said Joseph. We are poor, said the shepherds, as they knelt by the manger. We have nothing to give the baby but our love. That is the best gift in the world, said Mary. Soon it was time for the shepherds to return to their sheep. They told everyone they met about the new king. In a far-off country, three wise men noticed a new star in the sky. They knew that this meant something special. 
It is shining because a new king has been born, said one. Perhaps the star will lead us to him, said the second. Let's take some gifts and go and worship this king, said the third. The wise men set off for the city of Jerusalem. They were sure they would find the new king there at the palace. After travelling for many nights, the wise men arrived at the palace. They were taken to the ruler, King Herod. We've come to worship the new king, they said. King Herod was worried. He wanted to be the only king in the land. Who is this new king they speak of? He whispered to his advisor. A prophet once said that a new king would be born in Bethlehem, the advisor said. King Herod decided he must stop the baby taking his throne. I want to worship the new king too, he lied. Go to Bethlehem, then return here and tell me where I can find him. The wise men travelled to Bethlehem, where the star led them to the stable. We have come to see the new king, said the wise man. Mary welcomed them in and they knelt to give Jesus their gifts. Here is precious gold, said the first. I have brought sweet-smelling frankincense, said the second. And this is mirth, a healing oil, said the third. That night, the wise men camped outside Bethlehem. While they slept, God visited each of them in a dream. He warned them not to return to King Herod. In the morning, the wise men agreed to go straight home. King Herod was furious when he learned that the wise men had disobeyed him. I am the only king, he roared. I will not let a baby take my throne. God sent an angel to warn Joseph that Herod was planning to harm Jesus. You must leave Bethlehem at once, said the angel. Escape to Egypt where you will be safe. Joseph woke Mary and they quickly loaded their belongings onto the donkey. Carrying Jesus, they set off into the night. Jesus was safe in Egypt, but Mary and Joseph missed Nazareth. A few years passed peacefully. One night, God sent an angel to speak to Joseph in a dream. King Herod has died, said the angel. It is safe for you to return home. Joseph and Mary packed their belongings and set off once more. When they arrived, they were overjoyed to be back in their hometown at last. Joseph held Jesus as he stood in the doorway of their little house. This is Nazareth. The town where you will grow up, he said with a smile. Welcome home, Jesus.